for first place in Group A and a shot at the $250,000 first prize. Here we go. The action continues in the EASL Champions Week. Lassiter had six points in the first game in the EASL for San Miguel Beer. Check that, four points. Oh, wide open shot there for Omar Stelman. Monroe, I think both of them scored field goals. Yeah, you're going to need to get everybody involved in tight. It can't just be a one-player option. This is the problem for San Miguel in the first game. When one player dominates the scoring, it becomes an easy defensive option come the second and third quarter for the opposition. Spread the floor, put the defense under pressure. They must hit perimeter shots tonight. And look at that. A layup, one-on-one -on -one action, attacking Simon and C. Sizing up the opposition now. And they go to Spellman. He's open for the shot, and that's three points. Money. For Omar, Omar Spellman putting a move on Jesse Govan. A drive down the baseline that rents a bundle with a shot. Against San Miguel, need to share the ball more effectively. Daryl Monroe with the turnaround and he makes it off camp. Not sure if the foul was on Govan or on Lasseter. I think it was on Perez, okay? That's clear. There's another outside shot. Boy, these guys are red hot for this game. That ball not falling for CJ Perez. Anyang now with a two-point lead. Step back, three-pointer, and that's money. Govan is not a good perimeter defender. You can rely on him testing the defense of Cameron Clark. There's going to be a, a shot coming from the outside by Renza Bando, and that's in. That's another three-pointer. Renza Bando is in the ball game for the first time. And look at that hesitation move. And a wide open layup. Nobody protecting. Omar Spellman attacking. And then the easy pass for San Miguel Beer. They've been stuck at 14. And Renzo Banzo with another score. He's lighting it up. That's two three pointers now for Renzo Abanzo. Daryl Monroe looking for Spellman. Finds it. Spellman against Motau too, and he scores easily. Down. The lead is 13, but look at Omar Spellman saying, you score on one end, I'm going to score on the other. Perez against Renzo Bando. He takes the three-point shot. And again, look at the leak out. Renzo Bando with an easy two points. And Renzo already in double figures in the Korean Basketball League this season. Oh, an easy swipe, and it's going to be a walk in the park for the draft choice of Orlando in 2012. Here we go, action in the second quarter. Carol Monroe backing down to turn around and the connection. Well, Terrence Romeo, you saw him on your screen, and there's a steal and Ren Zabando scoring it 12 feet under. Jung taking a step back. And that's a connection once more. Three pointers falling for Anya in the first game that Anya played in the EASL Champions Week. There's that step back. Jesse Govan is actually not involved in the offensive scheme here of San Miguel Beer, but I think they need that big man to be involved. And here we go. Another three pointer scored by Omar Spellman. And there you go. There's the whip pass. And then the outside shot not there. Getting the stop there and then the steal. Look at Daryl Monroe. It's just one steal after the other. Quick offense here. And the big guy, the incredible hook. Look at him go. Putting it on the floor. Omar Spellman. He's feeling it and he chokes it again from the outside. That's another three point basket with a connection that time. An easy two points for CJ Perez. And then, wide open shot, and that's in. Omar Spellman, choking it again. That's number five. Wide open, medium range shot. Bay Byung Jun. Scoring the basket. And they're looking for Spellman in that... An easy two points. Oh, that's Daryl stopping it for the mid-range. That's 18 points now. 
Oh, look at this. Selman continuing his hot streak. He's got six three-pointers down in the contest. Marshall Lasseter, zero out of seven in the first half. Losing possession. Selman going strong. Who's going to stop him? The incredible Hulk. Another turnover by San Miguel. San Miguel with eight turnovers. Back in the first half, that would be turnover number nine. Another. San Miguel going back to Mads Mads defense now. This could be a bit of a game changer for them. Selman again connecting. He's been the only consistency scorer here for San Miguel aside from CJ Perez. That's beautiful. That's the play of the tournament. 14 to 13. So the Beerman getting their fair share of points. Just too much dribbling here. And look at the takeaway. Omar Selman going strong. And he will score the basket. It's a three point play. Opportunity for Omar Selman. It's a close third quarter. Omar Spellman taking it again and hitting it once more. My God, this it's guy is 41 points. And in this quarter, San Miguel Deer has matched point for point. Anya, but that's an easy two points. Now Daryl Monroe trying to put the move on Marshall Lasseter. Cross court pass. Here's Park. That's a tough angle and a tough shot and a tough connection. Shot for Mo Tautua and he missed it. Oh, that's another three-pointer scored by Red Zabando. Omar Selman choking it again. That's, that's three-pointer nice. number eight. Well, look out below. And there's a two-handed slam dunk. What an elevation by Red Zabando. He's got 18 points in this contest for this final play of the last quarter. One and one. Selman taking the outside shot. Oh, got it! Off the window, another three-point shot. Oh, absolutely. You're going to have to really try to match that badge if they want to go to the final game tomorrow. And again, the perfect passing. What is the move? is Bjorn. And they score the basket once more. Oh, my Selman. Looking for Daryl Monroe. That's going to be an easy two points. Looking for the mismatch. What a layup. What a, what a connection. Selman taking it from the outside and got it again. 11 three-pointer. 50 points for the big man. Monroe. Cross court pass after wide open three. Easy two points in the getaway. Monroe. Look at another pass in Grand Zabando. How easy was it for him to cut across and receive the pass? And Young is going to go to the championship game against Seoul, and that will be. An all-Korean final in the EASL Champions Week. They're not assisting. They're not passing the ball around. Get out of here. And that's going to be a tough shot to make. But Abando, look at him go. Offensive rebound. The putback. That's too easy right there. That's pride, dignity. And we're not seeing it so far here, bro. And that's it. It's over. It looks like Anyang might have done enough to earn that ticket to the championship game tomorrow.